Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for December 12th through the 18th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Cappy, what's going on? <clears throat> okay, the overall energy for the reading, the Five of Swords. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. There's a little bit of deception in here in this one. We'll see how that plays out, but in the recent past, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Six of Swords. Really feeling capable enough to walk away from a situation here. There's definitely that sense of uh, almost like waiting to get yourself in that position where you feel ready. You feel like you're confident, you feel like you're, you're in a good place, that you can actually walk away from something that no longer benefits you here. Um, I feel like you gave yourself that time, you know, to, to step into your power, to be like, okay, now I'm good, now I can do without this. Now, I don't know what that was, but building up to a sense of confidence here. Uh, in the current situation, the Two of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Temperance card, you're almost looking like you're delaying something. This could be where the Five of Swords applies, um, where it's... You're showing me, mm, I'm not sure about this. I don't know exactly what to do about this. So I'm just going to stand back and, you know, try to look at things from different angles. I kind of get the sense that you know, you know, what, what the deal is here. But for some reason, you're almost looking like you're trying to buy time, you know? Um, I don't know why. Who knows? Maybe you think you don't know. Who knows? Um, in the immediate future, the King of Cups, the Moon, the Eight of Wands. Uh, conversation is possibly on the way here. Um, that's coming from a place of love, but I feel like it's one of those things of we need to talk, you know, kind of a thing. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of getting it like that. But let, let's see. Let's clarify. Let me do the Five of Swords. <clears throat> Man, my hands are not big enough today for this deck, but let's see. <laughs> the Three of Swords, the High Priestess, the Queen of Cups. Someone had their feelings hurt. Now, I don't know if that's you. In all honesty, it doesn't show exactly, okay, this is about you could be someone tied up to you but someone had their feelings hurt and they're hiding that they're not being honest about that that's why it's looking deceptive because someone's carrying some pain here pretending ah, everything's fine eh, it's not that fine um, so I don't know I don't know let's see let me see that nine of pentacles there in the recent past <clears throat> Five of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the Temperance card. Okay. Definitely taking your time here to focus on yourself, on everything that surrounds a sense of stability for you. So you could have been given a lot of your time and energy to your work or everything you consider to be, you know, your stability. Uh, but taking your time almost to build yourself up or to build yourself even back up uh, from something. Because I see a sense of, you know what? I really need to get things going in the direction of where I'm at, what I got going on, you know, about me, a lot about me. And again, I feel like you took your time, but that's okay. It's not a problem. There was some fear involved there, a lot, in the way. But um, yeah, everything came out together quite fine. Um, in the sense of, if that was your focus, that's where you went. And I feel like you, you grew a lot in that direction of 
being able to say, okay, I'm my own provider, you know, or I make my own stability, I created my myself kind of a thing. There's a there's a lot of self-reliance here and it's it's shown up quite good. There's a lot of progress that's been made there, despite the fear that shows up. Um, let me do the Six of Swords. And release some past. The Judgment card, the Four of Swords, the Six of Pentacles. Okay. So as you do this, as you grow, and it's kind of normal, it's going to show up in all areas of your life. But as you grow, things that aren't a match anymore, they're just going to fall off. Whether or not you decide to remove them from your life, they're still going to kind of fall off on their own. So I feel like a lot of that has happened too here. You know, where you actually kept around you the energies that made sense. And the energies that fell into that organic equal give and take, basically. Um, nice. So yeah, a lot of healing here for you. Let me do the Two of Pentacles in the current situation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. For the Two of Pentacles, you get the Ten of Swords, the Magician, the Two of Wands. You're showing up as... Well, the energy that's showing up, honestly, here is the one of, okay, I'm done here. But what you're doing with this energy is you're taking it. And as I said, it kind of looks like you're buying time. You're giving me the two of wands here, which says, well, my manifestation on this is that it's done. But I'm not going to do it right now with the two of wands here. And then in the physical, you're actually showing me the two of pentacles the decision. The, mm, I don't know what to do about this. Well, as I said previously, you kind of look like you know what to do about this. You're just kind of delaying it. And I don't know why that's really on you. Um, let's do the hangman. Queen of Swords, the Lovers, the Ace of Cups. Okay. So you're looking at this because, as I said, the hangman kind of takes a step back, tries to look at things from different perspective. The perspective you're in right now, looking at whatever it is you're dealing with, is that of love. You know, you're opening up your heart. You're like, okay, I'm in this. Let's see. If it can go in this direction and things like that. Um, you're looking from that perspective. Your heart is not aligned with you in that perspective. Because you're showing up a little. Almost explaining to me what love is about. You know, instead of allowing me to feel it. Like coming from a place of the mind and trying to explain it to me. From a logical perspective. And I'm like... Okay doesn't feel like love the perspective of it the angle of it yes the actual way you go about it it's not from your heart necessarily it's from your mind you know so i'm glad you're you're opening up this lens of love i wish you could open up your heart with it as well so that you can align in that perspective it's kind of difficult though it's kind of difficult when you're already in the background there kind of have all of the you know um, like like your mind is made up basically kind of difficult to open up your heart at this point but you're trying let me do the temperance card For the Temperance card, you get the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Wands, the Page of Swords. I have no idea what this is for you. I just see it that uh, the more time goes by, the time you're trying to buy here, the more time passes, there's a possibility that things might even get worse. Um, or it's looking kind of conflicting, kind of like to the point of, you know what? I have no interest here anymore. Almost as if you're buying that time to give yourself enough time to be repulsed by this. So it's kind of like almost creating a, your own scenario around this to have a reason to reject this. Have a real reason to reject this. I don't know, it's kind of weird the way it's showing up. But, uh, and you're not doing it consciously, you're not doing it from the point of, okay, I'm aware, I'm this, you know, so this to Capricorn and I have my own plans. Of, no, no, it's not showing up like that, but it's definitely a self-sabotaging kind of an energy. And we all carry that. We all do that from time to time. So, you know, no need to panic. But 
I would turn you back around to this energy of, mm, I don't know what to do about this. And really make sure you do know what the deal is because there is no need here to buy time. You know, I would focus on that rather than, okay, okay, well, let's let one more day pass and then one more day and then well, let's not do anything about anything. Um, as to the King of Cups in the immediate future, the Two of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. You're trying to get back to that place of, remember when I told you in the past year where you focused on your stability, on your sense of, you know, self-empowerment, and, and you found that. You actually found that. And what you're showing me here in the immediate future that you remember, okay, I know how to get there because I got there at least once, so I know how to get back there. <laughs> but you have these barriers, the barrier of this that you're dealing with, which we'll label it as, I don't know, you have that barrier, and then you have a lot of overthinking in the way. So it's kind of like, even though you know how to get there because you got there, you just need to release, release all of this that's standing in the way, you know, all of the noise that's happening in your mind. And then you'll get there just like that. Because I do see you knowing your, your way back to that, to your own sense of independence, your own sense of, again, self-empowerment. This is kind of standing in the way in terms of, it's not the relationship that stands in the way, it's how you deal with it. You know, from, a, from that place of I don't know. The I don't know comes from the mind. The mind is getting even more and more confused. Because it's like, okay, we're buying time. And then as you buy time, it's like, things aren't looking nicer. Quite the opposite. So why the hell am I doing this? Oh, I don't know, but I'll, I'll just give it one more day. You know? So quite confusing energies are coming into play here in the way of you stepping in your power. Uh, for the moon, you get the two of cups, the eight of cups, the seven of wands. So there's you uh, at the surface level that you're dealing with all of this in from the place of I don't know. Um, then there's you, the inner you that really knows what's up here. And the inner you that really knows what's up here, it's kind of showing me a sense of detachment from this, a sense of, I'm kind of done with this. But the surface you comes into play and says, do you know what? I don't think I want to be done with this. Let's, let's give it another try or another day or another whatever. So the surface you is fighting the inner you on this one. I don't even know what the hell this is. I don't even know where they're at in this, the other party, I don't even care because it's not about that. It's your own struggle with you here, you know? Let's do the Eight of Wands. The Six of Swords, the Hierophant, the Four of Wands. Yeah, this is just the um, we need to talk conversation that's popping in here. And within this conversation, there seems to be something that's leading you more and more away from the idea of commitment here, by the looks of it. Um, as much as you're fighting against that with the outer Capricorn or the surface Capricorn, based on whatever is being discussed here, I see you kind of walking in the opposite direction of a possible commitment here. So I don't, know. I don't know. At the end of the day, you're the one that gets to decide here. Um, hmm. Let me see what the universe has to close it off. The Ace of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Three of Cups. You're showing me, well, the universe is showing me your perception of this. Look, there's good times, there's love here, there's, you know, there, there's some fun stuff in here. And I'm like, if you have that, okay. Okay, perfect. Go with it. But I kind of have the tendency to believe that this is the surface Cappy that's experienced this. And not that there's anything wrong with that. If you truly experience these things, perfect. Is there anything else then that you may want that's not found in these things though? You know, at a deeper level. 
Because maybe that's where the conflict lies. Like, oh yeah, it's fun. It's cool. It's, you know, it's really cool. There's something missing though. If your inner Cappy is saying, eh, and your surface one is saying, let's give it one more day. You know, there's something there within the way you perceive this whole situation. So, uh, but yeah, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.